Please help me reach my goal of 4,000 watch hours by watching and sharing this video. Thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. On my channel, we aim to make fitness and health a lifestyle. One meal, one workout, one day at a time. So if you want to join the Fit Lifestyle family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment bar below of any workout, any videos you'd like to see. And I'll see you guys in my next one. So in today's video, I want to come and show you guys what is in my gym bag. What do I take to the gym and why is my gym bag so big? So let me, sh let me show you guys my gym bag. Ugh. This is my gym bag. It looks like a damn suitcase and that's because I have a lot of cool stuff in it. I got this gym bag off of Amazon. I'm going to link um, the link to it in the drop box down below. The brand is um, Puma. This is a Puma bag. I love it. It was very affordable. So to start with the exterior, this is what my bag looks like. It's quite heavy. And on the outside of it, I have my cap. This is my North Face cap. So whenever my hair is out and I just want to put it back and put a cap on, I can do that. So I just hang it outside of my gym bag. Opening my gym bag, it opens from the top. It goes all the way around. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's really compacted with a lot of stuff. And then this side has a compartment for shoes. Right now, I have my lifting shoes. It's just a flat little Vance knockoff. Listen, it does the job, so I can't complain. So I just stick it in here whenever it's time to use it. Now, going to my gym bag, I have a lot of stuff in it. So I'm going to really like take everything out and show you guys what's in it. So I'm unpacking my gym bag for you guys, even though it took me time to pack it. You're welcome. Okay, so starting off, I want to start with this. This is my um, <laughs> and this is my lifting belt. I use it for deadlift. I use it for squat. My guy friend was actually just making fun of me because he says a knockoff, but you know what? He's just jealous. I love it. It's cute. It fits my waist. My waist is small, so the uh, lifting belts at the gyms really kind of don't fit me. So it's cool to have my own. Plus, it's pink. Hello. Next, I want to show you guys this bottle. I bought this bottle for fifteen dollars. At the time, I thought it was really expensive, but it's so cool. Like, I can undo it, and it has two little compartments. So for each of the compartments, I can undo it some more. Like, I can undo these two. One of them have my pre-workout in it, and the other one has my BCAAs. So I don't have to take the whole container to the gym with me. So that comes in really handy. And then if I take this bottle, I can drink, like, my pre-workout, rinse it out, and then mix my BCAAs for, you know, my recovery. And I can drink it throughout the workout. So it is really cool. So that's what I have in it. Next, I have my cones. I got these cones from the dollar store in my last haul, one of my mini hauls. It's cool. I use them whenever I want to use my, I want to do plyo or different exercises. I use my cones, so I like to take them with me. And then I also have this little, this is a phone case. This is a phone holder, but it's really cool because it looks like a miniature backpack. So I'd be looking so serious only to have my phone on my back. My father gave it to me, so I love it. It's cute. It's a bit dramatic. And then I also have my corset. I don't really wear it, but it's always cool to have it in case I want to put it under clothes when I'm doing cardio or whatever, you know. And then I always try to take an extra pair of um, workout clothing because for me, I work overnight. I'm always at the library or at work. So it's always good to just have extra clothes in my gym bag just in case like I'm in uniform or I'm in sweatpants. You just never know. So I always have extra pair of clothes in my gym bag. And then I also have extra socks. Right now, this is just one. I think the other one is in here. It better be in here. Next, I have... Now go into the pockets. I have quite a few things. I have a measuring tape. Why do I have a measuring tape? I don't know, okay? I just have it. It's great to always know your measurements. You know, if you want to check your baseline, your measurements, bi-weekly, bi-monthly, it's just great to always have it with me. Okay? And then in my gym bag, I also carry my camera tripod. I have a little backup tripod that I take whenever I want to film. It's just great to have it with me. And then I also have a backup camera. My backup camera is really important. Sometimes I want to film. I want to, like, 
if there's somebody at the gym who wants to work out with me and I want to film it, I always have this camera with me. Um, you know, it's my backup. I don't really use it, but it's great to always have it. And it comes in handy. So I have the tripod and a backup camera. So I take that with me as well. And then if I want to use my phone to record, I also have a selfie stick. Listen, if you're a fitness YouTuber, you have to be prepared, okay? You just have to be prepared on it. And then next, I have backup batteries in my gym bag because my camera uses battery. It's not chargeable, which is really annoying. That's why it has to be my backup because buying battery all the time was really annoying. And then going to the other pocket, okay? The pockets right here. I have some more um, workout equipment. In this bag, I have my resistance bands. I've lost a couple, but I still have like a good amount left. I think I lost two. I lost the yellow one and I lost the orange one, which I'm really, really sad about. I'm actually trying to get different ones. I'm trying to get the cloth ones because these tend to slide up and they're really annoying. So I'm looking into getting the cloth ones. That would be cool. Besides that, oh my god, my new, I mean, it's not new, but I've totally fallen in love with Jump Rope this year. It's so amazing. I use it for cool down. I use it for warm up. I just use it for cardio in general. I will really suggest you try Jump Roping because you don't know how bad you are because, you know, it's like a kid's game. We used to Jump Rope all the time, but now as an adult trying to Jump Rope, you realize how bad you are let me tell you because i'm always messing up but i can't quit and i'm starting to learn like tricks and stuff and trying to do it for a long time i love jump roping and going to the last pocket is like self-care stuff so i have this lotion i think i got from like the family dollar it's kind of running out so i have this lotion and then i have a fun size little secret deodorant deodorant always comes in handy i sweat like a pig so of course it's really important that I always have deodorant with me. And then I also have hand sanitizer. After touching all the machines, if I don't wash my hands right away, at least I know that I have hand sanitizer with me in my bag. That's really, really important because it'll disgusting. You know the weight. Yes, no. And then I have Vaseline from my lips, you know, in case. Yeah, it's, it's just important to always moisturize your lips. You never know who's looking at your mouth, girl, okay? Yes. At least I have like a little body spray I got from Walmart. It smells really good. It's Japanese cherry blossom. Smells so good. So I just like to spritz myself before workout or after workout, you know, just to smell good. And I think my last one is a hair tie. It's always important to have a hair tie because it, being natural, we're always breaking them. So... I always carry an extra pair and I think that's it okay guys so that's all the stuff that I carry in my gym bag if you see some other things that you want to include in your gym bag from what I have you should definitely do so your gym bag should be something that has everything that you need you never want to forget something at home oh my gosh I didn't even include my headphones I did not include my headphones because it's always around my neck speaking of which where is it it is Ah. okay so I always 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 have my headphones around my neck and when I don't have headphones I just turn around and go back home because you know what that day that there's there's gonna be no working out because you can't even try to say you're gonna work out with no music it's just no so guys as I was saying I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up hit subscribe button it's right here or right here please leave me a comment of other video you'd like to see in my upcoming videos and I will see you guys in my next one Bye guys! Mm -hmm.